make sure the mask is right side up. With clean hands, hold the mask from the straps and lift it to your face. The mask should fit from above your nose to just below your chin. Scholars and staff, regardless of vaccination status, will continue to be required to wear masks while inside at school. When scholars and staff are outdoors, face mask coverings are not required, though they are recommended in crowded areas for those who are not fully vaccinated. If a scholar doesn't comply with wearing a mask, the school principal will call the parent or guardian to come pick up the child. Windows will be open to allow for air circulation and ventilation. Bus drivers will wear masks and clean and sanitize the bus at the end of the day. Scholars will wear a mask and maintain physical distance when lining up to board the bus. Scholars must wear a face covering at all times on the bus. If a scholar does not have a face covering, one will be provided for them. Refusal to wear a mask means scholars will not be able to ride the bus. We will continue to practice social distancing at arrival, and scholars should keep themselves socially distanced from one another in congested or common areas when possible. Just as they did in the spring, scholars will continue to follow identified routes to their classrooms and or group arrival area, walking on the right side of the walkway. Scholars will proceed to the designated entrance, maintaining social distancing. Signage will remain in place to show where scholars should stand when lining up to enter the building. Scholars will enter the classroom after arrival to engage in learning. Staff and scholars will wear a face covering at all times when at school. Scholars will be assigned to a seat that is spread with appropriate social distancing. Scholars will have their own materials for daily use, and items will not be shared. Families will limit the number of items coming back and forth from home to school. Items should be left at school each day. Classroom spaces will be cleaned and sanitized according to safety guidelines. In order to help prevent the spread of viruses, scholars are required to wash their hands properly throughout the day. Recess will be set up with zones that help scholars keep physical distancing as much as possible. Scholars will have recess with regular student groupings to reduce exposure to different people as much as possible, and will be monitored to ensure physical distancing during activities as much as possible. When scholars are outside for recess, they are not required to wear masks, but it is recommended when an area is crowded or congested. Breakfast and lunch will be served to all scholars enrolled in in-person learning at no cost, regardless of free and reduced eligibility status. In order to provide quick service and better allow for social distancing in line, entree and side choices will be reduced and scholars will not need to provide their ID numbers. The following health and safety protocols will be in place to keep scholars and staff safe. Hand sanitizer at start of meal line, designated walking paths, designated entry door and exit door when possible, bag to place mask in while eating, touch free garbage cans, plexiglass at meal service locations, social distancing at least three feet during mealtime. We will continue to practice social distancing at dismissal and scholars should keep socially distanced from one another in congested or common areas when possible. At the elementary level, teachers will continue to escort scholars to their exits. While they are waiting to get on their bus or for their parent to pick them up, scholars will stand on X's to maintain social distancing. At dismissal, scholars will follow identified routes to their bus, vehicle, or walking route. 